Good evening. I'm Dan Fitzpatrick, StockMarketMentor.com, and it's Wednesday, December 7th. Um, I want to look at auto parts in this video. Typically, I don't do like six charts in a uh, in one of these free chart videos, but it just kind of seems right here, so that's what I'm doing. I'm actually wanting to look at the auto parts sector, but I'm starting with the autos because that's where the parts go. Um, Ford really really nice breakout here now the thing is um, they're doing Ford and GM uh, the market recently learned that they're doing a little bit better than expected so we've seen this kind of you know gradual downtrend right but then if we look at the weekly chart you can see it kind of looks like a double bottom maybe even a triple bottom but everything bottomed here remember that was a, a fun late August day um, so we've got Ford that's starting to break out of a multi, multi, multi month downtrend. We've got GM that's been forming a base for a while and it's starting to move higher. And you can really see this breakout here in early November. Um, Ford, uh, you know, kind of a similar deal. Like they all kind of happened at the same time in early November. So it makes sense that the auto parts uh, companies and I'm not talking about like AutoZone um, although that's doing okay too but I'm talking about the uh, the companies that actually make the parts for automobiles um, trucks things like that so we're gonna look at some of these here Borg Warner huge move big move um, but if we look here again it's a it's a double bottom here if I zoom out and look at the weekly chart um, I see a really nice double bottom and if I just simply take like let's assume like this is this is support right around here over the last two lows and then we come up here we've got about twelve dollars and thirty one cents it's forty five percent from the bottom right um, actually that's here that's where we are so yeah 12 bucks so then I take this and extend it up 12 bucks and what do we get we get fifty two dollars I make it a little more conservative because that's just how I roll and I'll say from a technical standpoint I would look for another ten bucks basically another fifty dollars excuse me another ten dollars up to about fifty bucks on my expectations for where this move can go now not overnight you can see the move that this has had huge volume this is a classic phase one breakout from a volatility squeeze phase one is the initial move phase two how much is it going to pull back phase three if there is one breakout to new highs and we're off to the races so the thing about Borg Warner is they have from a fundamental standpoint you have to look at this if you're looking beyond swing trading um, they've got steady growth less than 10 percent so it's not great uh, but they're doing you know fundamentals are com are compelling if you want to invest here now um, Tenneco we'll look here this is we'll look at the weekly chart okay it's only like a few bucks from its all-time high uh, you can look at this in a number of different ways lower highs lower lows finally we get you know I can start drawing uh, start drawing curves here ultimately find a continuation head and shoulder pattern and then looking for more upside I would prefer just to do this look at this as and we've seen a lot of these types of things lately kind of a really um, short and deep head and shoulder pattern with a breakout here this company has pretty steady earnings growth as well as revenue growth so you know we like to get the leaders here from a fundamental standpoint if all the stocks are working and they are you know I want to get the ones with the uh, with the best fundamentals because the others are just kind of a me too group of stocks and I'm not talking about the stocks themselves I'm talking about the people that are trading them so Tenneco works now Lear Corporation they have really steady and consistent earnings per share growth 
actually like the fastest growth in the group. Not the fastest rally, though this is doing okay as well. But you can see on a longer term chart, this is just coming out of a prolonged um, sideways trend. So this has a lot of room to go. By the way, you can look at these um, earnings dates and you can see there's no earnings for a while. And finally, near and dear to my heart, Dan, otherwise known as Dana. Okay, this has like the worst fundamentals of the group. I can't really take that personally, but the stock is moving. And so literally any of these stocks work as long as you have this um, this reality and that is you've missed a big part a big move I don't know how much this is like 20 percent here from a breakout so you've missed this part of the move you can't get that back you can't go pile in and buy twice as much expecting half as much of a move going forward you just have to say okay well I missed this part of the move but I still want to participate and so you do that and then you use a trailing stop, which I've talked about a lot um, recently in our members stuff. Let's just look at this. Uh, eight. Just, you know, for giggles here. A 10-day moving average is fine. You can just use that if you want as a trailing stop. It's kind of a down and dirty way. Or you can use the prior day's intraday low. Like tomorrow, your trailing stop would be just a little bit below today's intraday low of 1868. Or for that matter, you could go two days back. That works when a stock is moving, when it's trending really well. It does not work when a stock is chopping around. You might as well just sell the, the stock because you're going to uh, get stopped out. So when a stock is trending really strongly, um, that's when you can use this prior days or two days ago uh, intraday low as a trailing stop. But use one and then you can get involved in these stocks and you don't have to worry about them whipping down and taking all your dough. Okay, members over to the strategy session. We're going to talk more about this as well as um, just kind of explore some ways to make sure we're getting our money put to work in a responsible way. And if you haven't joined Stock Market Mentor, why don't you give it a try? We're making money.